what I've got on here is um, this uh, virtual thing, virtual box, is funny about what you can put in it sometimes and it kept crashing when I do any of these two it'll just if it's running the thing it won't do it so I'm gonna come out of there power that down and then okay get rid of that get rid of that if you want to do an an, uh, an image that you can put into it so I did this on PCEM which was a PC emulator to run old games you can emulate a Pentium 1 with Windows 95 and 98 and it's not very fast you have to have quite a modern computer to do it and what the way you get the games into it is similar to this you go to IMG burn you can download this really easy create image file from files folders and what you do is you go looking for I've got these are basically DOS games I've downloaded Total Carnage I could do that one It's gonna bloody work, is it? Put it on to into there. That's where I put the other ones. There we go. Yes. Use that name. Yes. Okay, there it is. And what you should do is have Total Carnage as an actual image. So if I go into, I'm still running it. What am I doing? being silly. If I go into this and is it there to use a disk file and it says total carnage so going in via storage and then you go to the little blue icon there and you go to choose this file and it puts it in there All right and if we start that up there again it should be inside the virtual CD ROM drive inside Windows 3.11 because you can't just stick a disk and you think you just put a disk in the real drive of a real machine because I've got an octagon on this one and it should bloody run it but it doesn't why am I on here again Where's that? Go to File Manager. Go to E. Is that it? There it is. You try and put it in. My experience is, if you tr if you go out of here and go into here, and try and get it to go in there, it'll just crash it. Uh, I don't know if it needs to be set up though. <laughs> Why is that then? That's funny. That is. Why won't it run the Windows? That's stupid. Um. No, that's not even helping me, is it? You mean I gotta go back to DOS? Damn. Um. Let's see what happens if we actually try doing that. I'll bloody crash it, won't it? Choose a disk file. No, there it is. It does that. And it will not, it will crash it. So I don't know what that's about. You think you could do it in situ, doesn't want to know. Um, aborted. You bloody crashed. Making up bloody stories. Um, so if you go to um, settings, you can do it there at the top. System, no, storage. Where is it? It's disappeared. Um, I'd have to make another one because I've got I've only got a limited amount of these. So um, I'm trying to get DOS ones to run, but I I've, I've got some of them. I don't think they'll run. This is the Windows 3.1 version, but I've not actually tried it. Let's try that one. It may not run. Um, doing here for okay 
BT is Bad Toys. It's called Bad Toys. I downloaded it uh, the other day, but it wouldn't run under DOSBox. So this one should run under this one. So that's fine. Get rid of that. Bring that back. Bring it in. It's a bit crap. Oracle uh, VirtualBox is often useless without virtual extensions. It won't run graphics properly. It doesn't work with audio. Um, this is not really a very good. I mean, DOSBox, you could do it on DOSBox, but I don't know how to do that. I'll probably have a look and see if I can do that next. Um, let's see if this bloody works here. Go to E. No, it's not that. What? Ugh, why is it not? Well, let me see if I can find it. It might be. Where is it? It's not been put in there. Um, I have to get rid of that because it won't do it. Ugh. No, guess settings. It's on the ID. I don't know why that's there like that. It only works this way. You think? Damn, this is doing my head in. I'm doing it wrong. I don't know what's gone on there. Go OK. That should be. It does a thing where it thinks about it. Okay. It's trial and error because I don't know why this thing just accept the optical disc in an optical drive with the extension thing. I don't know. I may be doing it wrong. I don't know. Right, got this far. I guess far as installing it, and then it just doesn't want to know about. I mean, I've got drivers on here, but as a taste of what this OS is and what how it works and things like that. Um, bad toys. Is that it? Not running it. That's meant to run on here. It's not doing it. Neither is that one either. So that's. If you want to run DOS games, don't bother with it on a virtual machine or a virtual box like this because you've got to get the drivers working. And um, I didn't install any drivers. I don't think I did. Um, that isn't working. The other one isn't working. Whereas with a DOS box, you can just. You can just go straight in. If I go, damn it, come on, I have wrong one. DOS box, you just go DOS like that. This is DOS box. I was messing about with the CD-ROM. Like that. And there's my games, and it only mounts the folder, not the entire hard drive, because if you do something, you might wipe your hard drive. And let's say you wanted to go... Um, what was I trying to run? Total Carnage. Does that run like that? No. I know these these I can actually work DOS with the command line, which is very weird of me. How is this going to work? I don't know if this actually works. Yeah, sounds working on this. So it works on here. I had this on Amiga, it's actually better on the Amiga. See, it'll work, so it just works on it. The DOS box. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> Best game ever made, this one. <laughs> I had an Amiga 1200 in 1995, and the first games I played was this. I was like, wow. It's kind of terrible and great all at the same time.
Does it crash? Oh no! Here we are! Oh bugger! I have to stand on something, damn it! Oh, I can't shoot, what am I shooting? I can't... Oh! <laughs> What's going on here? What's this? I just died right on there. Gimme, I'm not supposed to shoot anything! Oh no! <laughs> it won't bloody work on Windows 3.1 I'll play it on bloody DOS then. Can't beat that nutty like this. Can't beat that Yeah, that can't be one of the windows. I mean, it's crying out loud. What are you doing, Microsoft? Oh, damn it. Damn it. What's that? I'll give me that one. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's not strictly anything to do with Windows 3.1. 11. 3.11? That's what the. Ow, you. Bugger. How dare you. Get out of it. Oh, he's... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is um, DOSBox. I can work DOSBox because I know how to do it. I've done a, quite a few games on it. Playthroughs and what... No, uh, videos. And once you uh, do it enough, you never really forget the... Um, how to mount the actual uh, folder because you don't want to mount the, the hard drive properly because you might end up completely wiping the entire installation. Oh man, it's getting terrible. It's getting a bit tasty. Oh, oh my. <laughs> yeah. DOSBox is better if you just want to play DOS games. Um, you can install 3.11 on here. On DOSBox, and I've no idea how you do it. Um, so I would actually like to do that, but DOS, the um, the the sorry, it's the wrong way. Yeah, this is yeah, this is um a terrible game. I'll get rid of that. Back to this bloody thing. Yeah, I can't get anything to run on it other than that lollipop game, and that's kind of odd. And if you want to go through um getting things to put in in here, in here, you'd think going into there and doing that would do it, but it just crashes it. Try that, no, no, do that. Try that. Yeah, and you can go and do this, and it sort of works and sort of doesn't. And the main issue is, let's try Roland. Getting them into the system in the first place is absolutely annoying, and then. This is the only one that seems to bloody work, this one does. Yeah. Which is kind of annoying. It's more to do with the virtual machine than it is to do with the Windows. I mean, you do need drivers and things. I mean, DOSBox will just work. But um, this is more trouble. These bloody stupid virtual machines. Ow. Yeah, this is this is a bit choppy. This is it's not particularly fast on this. Oh. It should be better than this, but I don't think I've got the right drivers on it. What's my fire button? No, it pauses it. There we are. 
but it does this works better on um on DOS box this this game so oh damn it oh got killed some games will seem to run okay and others just don't when they some refuse to run in a Windows environment load up some stuff. I have played this before. This is one I've actually. Oh, damn it! <laughs> it's funny. Oh no! The only thing you'd, I don't think the only reason you'd want to use three point one is probably to do games that specifically need it because DOS games are either going to be funny with it because they don't like the front end. Uh, but almost like Windows ninety eight. I've got Windows ninety eight second edition on a Pentium three. And I was doing two mode of one, it had the CD in the drive, and it often locks. That could be a CD drive issue. It won't run in Windows 98 mode, uh, in, Win in DOS mode, because. Damn. It turns off the front end, that's Windows 98's front end, and you run it in, a, in DOS mode, and it doesn't like it, some games still don't work. Because there's a thing with the um, memory takes up a certain amount. The game looks for 640k, some of them, and then Windows 98 puts drivers into that space. And if it doesn't match um, 640, it refuses to run because it says it's not enough memory. And that machine's got like 300 meg on it. So certain DOS games don't like anything that's later than DOS itself. Um, so, DOSBox is still a better option just for running DOS games in general, because it often works a lot better. What is that? We're getting killed. Damn it. Oh, is that back to front? Oh, damn it. Everything's reversed. That's funny. I picked that thing up. I can't get rid of it. Okay. Yeah, so my experience with, with Windows is that you think if you get Windows 98, all your DOS games will run. They jet, they depends on how well they're programmed. And they look for certain kinds of memory. And then if they don't find it, they get a bit funny with it. Oops. Oh, damn. That's hitting me. Damn it. Ow. Killed here, but um, yeah, my experience. Oh, it's bloody! My experience isn't really with three point one. It's mostly with with if anything, Windows ninety eight to a degree, and then DOS. I need to go this way, do I? <laughs> And the problem with um, virtual box is that oh, ow, what's going on there? The you always need drivers that you can never get working properly. Um, trying to run Windows like XP or something to try and play XP games, and even if it does work, the bloody thing's too slow anyway. pretty good game it's, it's like most games it depends if you've got um, an aptitude for it and you have to practice a bit to get proficient under pressure because you're going to get like things happening and you've got to be good at it um, the only problem with DOSBox there isn't any sa as far as I know no save states so if you do want to get into a game unless it's got integrated saving on it you might have to it's like difficult to kind of play a game you have to do level 1 level 2 all over again Often I'll just play the Amiga version usually because it's often the same difference or usually a bit better, depends on the game. Some games are better on PC, some games are better on Amiga, but with Amiga it's just straightforward, you just put it on and it works, whereas with PC you got to set it up. Oh, what have I got to do here? I don't know. 
It's always a pain in the ass. Um, DOS gaming, you've got to set it up um, a little bit, and controllers don't work because they didn't do implement USB. Oh, you fell off. There. That's funny. <laughs> They don't implement the um, game controllers, so you got to do a manual with the physical the machine. I've got a Windows 98. You can um, set up the joystick, but you got to kind of calibrate it each time for each game. It's like, oh man. Oh, damn. Oh, damn it. Can I get back? But in terms of like for for, for recording it uh, a game, um, DOSBox I think is better than Virtual Virtual Box. It's a bit too much messing about on here. Oh, I'll keep doing that. It's the only one that's working on here. So. This is from ninety four, so this is it should be. Well, that's probably why it does work. It's quite a late. Era that would be aware of the front end. That's it. It's the exit. I'd have to go up. I think I've missed a, a thing to get the end of this one. Yeah, I think I've missed a thing out here. It's not quite as jerky as this, it's a bit choppy. I think there's got to be a driver issue then. Oh, shooting, eh? Oh, it's got. Oh! Uh, I need dead, I need dead. These things in the foreground are a bit annoying. I do put them in. Can't see where I'm bloody going. Probably be killed. I mean, I'm oh, really dead. Oh, bugger. Like I'm dead. Is there any more? I've got another life. i got another life. Oh, good work. I thought I had to pick them up. I don't. Damn it. Bugger off, what's that? I should just pick up oh man. What what's going on here? Man <laughs> Stop throwing things. Damn it. Uh, oof, this is hard. This is like annoying. I'm probably not, I'm not going to get past this bit because it's a bit difficult. But I thought I'd do a, a thing, a video, and then show a game running, and then it's like all that business with putting the discs in. It's like one day they'll make an emulator that, emulator that actually works on the PC that you can play old games on. One day. That is taking the. I always fall off this end, but it's always the same. Oops. Ooh. Go to that one. There's a bit where you can come off here. Can I stand on that? I bet I can't. I can. Just the oh damn! No, what's the jump one? What? What's the jump? Oh, it's up, isn't it? <laughs> this is the one I can't get out on. 
No, no. Oof. I did it. I actually did it. Oh, I'm dead anyway. Damn, no. Damn it. Stop throwing things. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. That's it. Yeah. So that's the only game I can get working on Windows 3.1. Um, it works well under DOS with the sound and everything. So 94, so that's quite late. That should be like. Uh, what's the word? Aware, capable, com compatible. So yeah, getting them in there is um, a bit painful to be honest, but I can't get out of here now. Oh, no. no. Yeah, I'm going to exit from this, so yeah, that's Windows 3.1. It's a bit terrible. It's mostly to do with the um, virtual box being funny. It really would be really nice if you could just drop images in there after you've burnt them to a little bit like a disk image. But it's a bit funny with that. I don't know how to fix that. But yeah, it's not really a guide. Um, but if you want to try it out, get that ISO, stick it on there, follow the steps that I did. Uh, just to sort of play around with this, so you, you've got the little paint program, um, and you can, if you've got the discs, if you've got the DOS games, some of them might work. I haven't got enough time to test all of them, but I would, I would recommend using DOS Box because that's better in general for DOS games. This, if you want to install this on DOS Box itself, that's a whole other thing, and I haven't covered that yet, and I've no idea how you do that, but um, that might be a better way because you can. Um, actually get them running in there with, with the sound and everything so I'm gonna quit here so I'm gonna exit yes okay that's all for me thank you for watching and until next time bye